Today we're in beautiful North Webster, Indiana, and we're going to take you around the town. Known as the heart of the lakes, North Webster was platted in 1837. North Webster is situated in Indiana's lakes region. Residents and visitors enjoy activities on Webster Lake, the Barbie Chain of Lakes, and Tippecanoe Lake. During the summertime, the area is popular for boating, fishing, kayaking, and more. But there are many moments to experience for every season in North Webster. North Webster is home to the Dixie, Indiana's oldest sternwheel paddle boat. The Dixie has cruised Webster Lake since 1929, providing tours of the lake to generations of residents and visitors. Now, while you're in town, don't forget to stop by the many shops and restaurants that are located here, from shopping to restaurants to antiques. There's so much to offer right here in North Webster. There's no better way to start your day than at the River Coffee House. All right, there you go, sir. Thanks so much. So Amanda, tell me a little bit about uh, the background of River and how you came to acquire it. Well, I was a frequent customer and I just noticed a change and just mentioned something. If there was ever a time they were ready to get rid of it, that yeah. I would be interested. And we took ownership on January 1st of last year. Awesome. Well, why don't we go inside and take a look around so everybody can learn a little bit more about you guys. So Amanda, I know you wanted to have a place that was comfortable for family, friends, people to just come hang out. That was kind of the goal, right? Correct. What do some people say about this place? What do they describe it as? Cute okay. uh, is one of the words everybody always says when they walk in, but it's a perfect place to have a meeting. Um, they can bring their kids in, play games. Sure, yeah, and, and you have free Wi-Fi here as well, right? So I would imagine you probably see students after school yeah. come down and they can do their homework here and hang out. We also have a lot of people that work remotely, so oh, yeah. during COVID, we had tons of people in here working because it got them out of the house. I see there's like, there's really kind of several different environments in here. I mean, you've got the fireplace, but then you kind of have the sunken pit area too, but that you got the upper level. So was this all kind of set up this way? Some of it was, I mean, but we've added some new furniture and just did different spots so that everyone's not on top of each other, but yeah. feel they can do work or talking or have a meeting and not be on top of each other and have their own little space. I'm a hot chocolate guy. And I hear you guys do free hot chocolate with the Christmas tree lighting ceremony or something. Tell me about that. Yes, the chamber um, lights the large Christmas tree that's in the lawn, okay. um, usually the week before Thanksgiving. And so we offer free hot chocolate during that event, which is a couple hours at that night. So that was something I was deeply passionate about when I was part of the chamber. So I'm sure. glad that now I can be this side of it and offer that free hot chocolate this year. That's amazing. So what are some of the other things that you guys do in the community as, as well? I know you do some stuff with the schools, but tell me yeah, a little bit about we that. We have done like teacher week for the PTO, okay. um, coffee, um, usually when they have parent teacher conferences or they're working late, we can offer muffins and coffee. We have a big part with Camp Crosley. So okay. all of their counselors each year get a little gift card while they're here um, because they support us daily. Just a little bit of a give back for supporting us, but That's this awesome. is one of their favorite places to come during the summer and they look forward to being able to come here. Awesome, so make sure you get your River Coffee House merch right here, show it around town. It's the cool thing to do. You guys have online ordering as well. We have the ability to order online uh, ahead of time and then you can come in and pick it up or go through the drive-thru. And then you have gift cards available. We do. Right, which is really kind of a cool thing because you also have a rewards program. Tell us a little bit about that. You get a point for every dollar that you spend and after you get 50 points, it's redeemable at that point, but you can keep accumulating past that. Amazing. Now, we're standing in front of this map and I know this is kind of something that you started when you took it over. Yes. And it's really kind of because it says, where's your hometown and people from Indonesia to get their rewards. They're probably not quite as frequent as some people, but literally people from all over the world are coming to River Coffee House, which is absolutely amazing. 
So Jamie, I know you guys have breakfast and lunch here also, right? Yeah. And now we're actually gonna, you're gonna show me how you make a chicken bacon ranch panini. I heard that's kind of like one of your more popular paninis, right? Yep. So you're gonna start out with the bread. Okay. Um, now are there bread options? Can they choose from yes. different breads? So we have the, uh, our original panini bread, and then we also do gluten-free bread. The chicken, bacon, and ranch, I'm assuming at least starts with chicken, bacon, and ranch, yep. right? Okay. Yep. And then we add Colby Jack and spinach. All right, the moment of truth. Wow, the cheese is amazing. This is a great sandwich. The panini, it's really nice and crispy as well. Awesome, awesome, awesome sandwich. All right, Kennedy, so what is it that you're making for us now? Okay, I'm making the Kennedy's caramel apple. Okay, so is this a seasonal drink? Yes. It is a seasonal drink. Okay, what goes in it? Apple cider, caramel sauce. I do matcha. So, okay, I don't even know what matcha is. What is matcha? It's like green tea fine down to a powder. Okay. So you get all the chunks out. Okay. And then. Oh, check that out. Moment of truth. That's pretty amazing. Very good. So did you come up with this? Yes. You did. <laughs> awesome. Great job. What is it that makes River the place for you? It's the whole package. All oh. of the above. They have the best breakfast sandwiches. The coffee is top notch. The customer service plays a huge role in that as well. Is, is this some place that you come on a, on a daily basis, like several times a week? How often do you think you're here? Uh, at least twice a day. At, twice a day. Well, thanks for supporting the River Coffee House. Sounds like you're keeping them open all on your own. Oh yeah. Tell us a little bit about how you guys do things differently. I will taste the coffee and then adjust our recipes Interesting. Um, to that coffee. Take that extra step to go, okay, what's this thing supposed to taste like and how do we get it there? Exactly, yep. I'd love for you to try and teach me how to pour some coffee art. Are you willing to give me a shot? I mean, yeah, let's go for All it. All right, let's try it out. Okay, so this goes in here, right? Yep, pull that lever down. Okay. All, the way. All right, how's this thing go in here? It goes in a little bit at an angle. You want to turn it that way, actually. Okay, all right, there we got go. it. All right, now here's the real challenging part, though, right? This is the challenge. Steaming part. the milk. Crank this bad boy, right? Yep, just twist it all the way over. All right, now bring the milk up. Bring the milk up. Yep. Oh. Look at this. Oh, oh, oh. Look at that. <laughs> See, when you put a rookie on the milk, that's what happens. All right, so you said kind of start on the edge and kind of yep. go around the cup, is that right? Yep, there you go. All right. And now pull through this way. It's a broken heart, as my coffee art is a broken heart, not a heart. Now don't forget, you can learn more about the River Coffee House on the iShop local app. Download the free app today to learn more about this business and hundreds of others. When it comes to barbecue, there's lots of places that you can choose from, but there's only one Rollin' Smoke Barbecue. So we're out here at Rollin' Smoke Barbecue with the owners, Randy and Sheila. How did this all start for you guys? Well, uh, it started uh, back in 2018. The company that I worked for uh, was uh, going global. Um, so they started giving out uh, release papers. They was restructuring. Uh, I just decided to quit. Okay. And in order to quit, uh, we also thought about um, my next job. We got to talking and um, we've been doing this barbecue thing on the back burner for family and friends. And I told her, I said, we really need to explore this. And I was scared to death. I'm not gonna lie. I've got <laughs> I three kids at home. Everybody counted on me. So you started with the food truck then in 2018? Once we started the food truck, everything just exploded. And then at some point in time, you guys decided to make a transition into opening a restaurant, which is another huge transition. I never thought in a million years I would be opening a restaurant. Sheila, let me ask you, because I, you know, I know he's not gonna brag on his food and, and what his capabilities are. Brag on him a little. I mean, he makes some, some magic happen. He does. Right? Like after two years, I finally tried his brisket because normally brisket and ribs and stuff's chewy. Sure. You know? So 
I tried it and I was like, oh my God, I missed this for two years. <laughs> so when he said, hey, I, I, I want to go do this thing. I want to go give this a shot. What were your thoughts? Scared, but I knew he could do it. Yeah. I knew. So yeah. I went back to work and he did it. Let's talk about some of your menu items that you have, because I know that I've tried many of them. Um, but you guys do chicken, right? Right. Okay, chicken what? leg quarters. We're doing uh, 40 to 60 pounds a, a day. Yeah, and so you've got the pulled pork yes. also, right? Which I know is a customer favorite. Uh, on a weekend, we do a little over 400 pounds. Another huge From favorite. Thursdays to Sunday. Wow. And yes. that's, your, that's when you're open, right? Thursday yes. through Sunday. Thursday okay. to Sunday, 11 to 7. And then brisket. Is also a Brisket, huge one. We're doing about 280 pounds every weekend. Wow. Any other meats? We also do ribs. We're looking at about 70 to uh, 60 to 70 racks a day. Over a weekend's time, I'm doing upwards of uh, a little over 900 pounds a week. Wow. That uh, guy is 900 pounds a week. And that just shows like how much people love the food. The fact that you're here from Thursday through Sunday. People come in, they flock here to get that. But then I know this is like a family affair for you guys too, right? Mom comes in, yes. right? And she makes Got some mom. world famous potato salad. Exactly. She puts in just as many hours as I do here. Yeah. And, and she um, keeps you in line still. Yeah. Exactly. I've seen it. And so she makes the potato salad. I know yep. that. Does she make any of the other sides? She does the homemade mac and cheese. Which is unbelievable. She does the slaw. The slaw. And then your brother is also here. He's kind of like my my right hand man. He okay. he's uh, he's a good runner. He's a multitasker. Sure. We've got uh, a little bit of the the whole family here. And I know you guys have some really cool shirts available you here. You guys have some hats available here. We've seen them around town. We've right. seen them in here. Do uh, you guys have gift cards as well? We do have dig digital gift cards. Digital gift cards. We okay. do them right here. We just made the uh, Times Union in uh, in the paper. So uh, the last uh, last couple weeks, we've been getting a lot of new customers. Yeah. Now, speaking of amazing, the first time that I came in here, I'll tell you guys, I couldn't decide what I wanted. And I was really torn. I was like, I wanted pulled pork, but I also wanted the brisket. Right. And I looked at Randy and I said, is there any way that we can combine these two? And so what happened was we created what I call the shop local guy special. You guys got to come in and ask for this. But it's a sandwich that is half brisket now and half pulled pork. So you get the best of both worlds on one sandwich. There's just so many flavors going on. But I'll tell you, you can eat all of this stuff. Sheila, you can tell me this. You can eat all this stuff without any sauce, couldn't you? Absolutely. It's just unbelievable. But when you come in, ask for the shop local guy special. You guys will be floored. I promise you, you'll be like, it'll be tough to, to order anything else after that. What's the future hold? What, what, where, where do you see yourself in five years? We, we look in at multiple locations. What's the dream? My dream is to uh, acquire a couple more shops. Okay. We are really looking at uh, Columbia City. Okay. Uh, we're also looking at uh, Kendallville. You hear that Columbia City so, and Kendallville? Get a hold of them. This is super serious. We will be coming. Get down here, travel. I don't care where you're coming from. I promise you when you show up at Rollin' Smoke Barbecue, it'll be some of the best barbecue you've ever had. Find out more about Rollin' Smoke Barbecue on the iShop Local app. And don't forget to ask for the Shop Local Guy special. Fostering trusting relationships. Welcome to Sox Marina. We're out here with Ryan at Sox Marina. And Ryan, how long has Sox been around? Sox Marina's actually been here since 1960. 1960, now obviously you haven't owned it since 1960. So tell us a little bit about the history of Sox. Uh, Sox Marina was founded and started by a man named Francis Shear and his nickname was Sock. So this building was the original this Sox is Marina? The original shop was actually down below that level where you see the wood there, okay. right here. Uh, I took over operations here in 2016. Socks over the years has been just this location, correct. but I know recently you've acquired a second location, right? That is correct. Okay. The, uh, August 1st, uh, we closed the deal to purchase the uh, Barbie Marina. Okay. Over on the Barbie Chain of Lakes, about six and a half miles from here. And so the boat launch area is actually a private launch, but 
people can get seasonal passes or daily passes too, we, right? Yeah, we offer, you know, just one time in and out. Uh, okay. We also, for some of the folks that are here all the time, we do a seasonal pass for them. So we're on this lake right now, and this is Webster Lake, right? Correct. What do you think if we took one of these boats out on the lake and you show us around a little bit? Well, yeah, we ought to. I mean, it's a nice day. Yeah. We might as well go for a boat ride. Let's go. All right. So Ryan, we're out on Webster Lake, which I know is one lake of many in the area, yes. but there's some things that make Webster Lake a little unique. And one of those things is, uh, you were kind of sharing with me, it's, it's got several islands and several island homes. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, we just passed one there called Governor's Island. Uh, back when the house was built, I believe it was actually for the governor of Indiana. Okay. It's one of those, just like so many others on the lake that are accessible by boat only. This is the lake that Sox Marina has called home for so many years. Yes. Um, and, and, and talking about Sox Marina, I know you guys do a lot in the community. I know you're involved in a couple different chambers. What are some of the other stuff that you guys are involved with in the area? Uh, well, myself included and two other members of my staff have uh, been in the Boy Scouts of America, the BSA. We give back by training leaders for that program still. Okay, wow. My service manager is a member of the local Lions Club Okay. Uh, that puts on the Mermaid Festival, which is a big deal for the sure. town of North Webster. Sure. You know, we sponsor a lot of, you know, if it's just teams, uh, right. For the local Sports golf tournaments, team, yeah. for chamber outings, okay. uh, the high school robotics team, the junior lady warriors basketball camp, yeah. you know, we sponsor their shirts. We do as much as we can whenever we can to give back because we know yeah. that we're a big part of keeping the lake community going, which oh, absolutely. helps the whole area. You guys have boats that people can come rent, maybe kayaks Yeah, we have, or... we have a, a rental company, Sox Boat Rental. This thing's pretty quiet on the water. Oh, absolutely. I mean, we're able to sit here and have a conversation and there's 200 horses hanging on the back of this. So 200 horses mm -hmm. on a pontoon. Yeah. So uh, it's safe to say this isn't your, your, your grandfather's pontoon, right? No, not exactly. <laughs> I mean, it, it's pontoon by definition, not really by what it can do. And I, uh, I think a lot of people still have maybe a, a misconception, if you will, of that pontoons don't have the power to do a lot of the uh, water sports that they would want to do. Whatever you want to do, whether it's just cruising around like this or yeah. throwing a tube out the back and you know, with everybody on the boat still having the power and right. planning to do things like that. I'll tell you, Ryan, I'm willing to go behind this thing and see what it's really got. Oh yeah? Yeah. You're lucky you up for it? you got a tube right behind you that would probably do that. I say we give it a shot. Why not? Dylan, so I know you guys actually do kind of a full inspection on the vehicles when they come off the water for the season, right? And you guys kind of inspect them again before they go back in the water in the spring. You know, the whole winterization process, is there more to it than what we're doing today? Uh, yeah, we'll drain all the water out of the engine, check over all of the systems in the boat, the electrical system, the fuel system, make sure everything's looking good so that way when we do pull it out next spring, things hopefully will be ready to go and sure. get it in the water. A lot of people I know store their trailers here during the summer when their boats are out on the water and there's some things that can go wrong when you put a boat on there. So what are some of those things that uh, on a trailer that uh, people should be looking for, specifically they should have you guys looking for? Well, when we bring it in, we check over the lights, make sure it's ready for the road, check the bunks, make sure the boat's gonna sit good on the bunks and that they're not broken or uh, needing new carpet. Uh, we also check the tire pressure and uh, check the wheel bearings. You jack it up and make sure the bearings are tight. I imagine there's some pretty significant training that you have to go through to know how to do this stuff. What's your background? I spent two years in high school vocational program. Very after cool. After that, I did a year long program in Orlando, Florida. Okay. I moved back up here and started getting work experience. And since then I've been to uh, uh, two different Mercury locations for training there. Spent about three weeks in Georgia getting my Mercury certification. Excellent. And uh, working toward the master certification here in a few years. This is the place to bring the boat. If you're wanting to make sure that's taken care of, to have people that have certifications doing it and they're not just the guy down the street in their garage, that is not who you want working on your boat. 
So Ryan, we're here in your inside storage space and how many boats do you guys keep in here? Uh, we'll have at least 60 in here on the sides and in the racking. Uh, we use the floor down here wow. uh, for boats that are here for winter service so that we can get them in and out a little easier. But you guys actually store a lot of boats outside as well, right? We've got nine acres here and about four of it is dedicated to outside winter storage. Okay. You know, Ryan, normally I like digging in and, and, and trying new stuff, but I think, you fire I up think that I'm going to and... leave that to you guys right. to put the pontoons up on these racks. Okay. I'm out of that All one. Right. All right. So Ryan, now we're out at your new location. I know it's new to you, but it's been around for a while, right? Since 1945. Since 1945. Now, I know that you carry a few different lines of boats, and right here I'm seeing the Trifecta. Uh, in addition to Trifecta, we have the Agio by Misty Harbor. Okay. Polar Craft aluminum fishing boats. The Trifecta especially is different from everything else. It okay. has a one-piece composite deck. Now, one of the things I know that is important to you is fostering a trusting relationship with your customers. And one of the ways that you do that from my understanding is that when they purchase a boat from you, you actually take them out on the water with the boat, right? Is that, you kind oh, of make an initial run with them? Absolutely, I'm not just, you know, throwing them the keys yeah. and kicking them off the dock. We go out, make sure they know how to use all the systems on the boat, yeah. everything that it does, all the different options, and make sure that, you know, they run out of questions before we're done with our boat ride. You want them to run out of questions Absolutely. before the thing's over. You want them to know it inside yeah. and out and trust that they know what's going on with the boat for them and for you. Absolutely. Right? So for you to take each and every single person out, I think that's truly amazing in what you're doing. Now, don't forget, you can learn more about Sox Marina and hundreds of other locally owned and operated businesses on the iShop Local app. I'm joined by Renee from the Syracuse Wawasee Chamber of Commerce, the executive director. And Renee, I know that there's a lot of businesses in the area outside of Syracuse where you're, you're housed that are part of your chamber as well. And we've actually had a pretty fun day with several of your chamber members today. We were at the River Coffee House today, we were at Rolling Smoke Barbecue, and we were out at Sox Marina. So I know they're, they're pretty big community partners for you. Well, the river has a great atmosphere and a place where people can come and spend spend time, which has been very beneficial for the, the school age kids to come over and spend time. And then literally right across the street from River is Roland Smoke Barbecue with Randy and Sheila. And I mean, just first of all, amazing food, but his passion too, we've really noticed Randy's passion for serving the community. They love to help people and they're just very giving people in this community. And then of course, Ryan at Sox Marina is an absolute character himself. And uh, he had just opened a second location. He, he bought out a, 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 another marina. Sox Marina has helped with the flotilla. Ryan and his wife have been volunteers in the community. Uh, they are very active in both communities in all ways. I know that obviously we're in North Webster today, but your the Syracuse Wawasee Chamber has a pretty large area that it covers, but you've got some other events actually coming up this weekend, right? Yes, we're doing a, an event called Experience Syracuse. Okay. And it's more of a, a media kind of plant the seed type of event, but we're also inviting people for two days on the 24th and 25th of September to just come and experience Syracuse and see what we have to offer. When I look at these two communities, of North Webster and Syracuse, they work so well together. Like the businesses seem to work well together, the communities work well together. And when one community is doing well, the other community is doing well because we support each other yeah. in everything we do. So it's, you know, there's no lines. There's, everybody's helping everybody in these two communities. You gotta come to this area. You gotta check out these places. And if you wanna go to the Syracuse Wawa Sea Chamber website, it's swchamber.com, right? You've got an entire event calendar on there of everything happening in this area so go on their website you can check all that out and find out more about what's going on as well thanks to davidson auto deals in syracuse indiana for loaning us this golf cart today it's been an absolute blast enjoying north webster in this golf cart if you'd like to purchase it give davidson a call if you'd like to do your part to support local businesses you can do that by downloading the free iShop local app you can learn about the businesses featured today and hundreds of other locally owned and operated businesses now we'll see you in four weeks for more Around the Towns. If you know of a town you'd like to see us feature or a business you'd like to feature, make sure you reach out to us at theshoplocalnetwork.com. We'll see you next time on Around the Town. Famous for our fish and bar chicken, Louis Bar and Grill in Syracuse, Indiana is a must stop for residents and visitors alike. 
We offer specialty burgers, chops, steaks, and appetizers. We have a nice selection of beers and specialty drinks as well. Enjoy our daily lunch and dinner specials inside or out on our patio. Great food, great drinks, great friends. Now don't forget you can find out more about them on the iShop Local app, and when you use your discount here, you actually get 50% off an appetizer with a purchase of two entrees. Come experience Syracuse all year round. Sample some of the great businesses on September 24th and 25th from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Spend the day exploring and visiting our businesses as usual. Syracuse is located in northern Kosciuszko County on State Road 13, a short trip from Fort Wayne off of US 30. Syracuse is a destination of great things to do all year round from fishing, shopping, golf courses, archery, over 12 miles of trails, year-round festivals, over 36 unique restaurants. Explore our beautiful parks and Wawasee Area Conservancy. Visit the past at the Syracuse Museum. Stay in one of our two fantastic hotels, Brook Point Resort and the Oakwood Resort. We are a leisure community, a great place for a day trip or a long stay any time of the year. Visit swchamber.com for a yearly calendar of events and a map of locations. Come experience Syracuse, Indiana. Special thanks to Intera Credit Union, Main Channel Marina, Better Business Bureau serving Northern Indiana, Max Swelton Golf Club, Huntington Street Bar and Grill, and Crossroads Bank. I'm Nick Bello, host of WHME TV's new series, Around the Town. Join us each week as we discover new towns and share with you the best of the best and what they have to offer in small businesses. Want to do your part in supporting local? Download the free iShop Local app to receive discounts and special offers to hundreds of locally owned and operated businesses across the area. From restaurants and shopping to entertainment and attractions, we look forward to you joining us each and every single week as we take you around the town. Since 2018, Panthers Pizza in Napanee, Indiana has been serving up amazing pizza to locals and visitors alike. We offer pizza, calzones, sandwiches, wings, ice cream, and much more. Stop in for one of our lunch combos or our pizza by the slice. Many of our ingredients, including our dough and sauce, are made in-house daily. Feeling a little crazy? We invite you to try our famous cheesy double-decker, a pizza unlike any other, only available at Panther's Pizza. Noble County Disposal is family-owned and operated. Our goal is to meet the needs of our customers with reliable service at reasonable rates. Since 1972, Noble County Disposal has grown to become a third generation company serving all of Northern Indiana with a full range of products and services. Noble County Disposal's focus has remained the same since day one, service and quality. We want every customer to feel like they are our only customer. Give us a call today for all your disposal needs. Famous for our fish and bar chicken, Louie's Bar and Grill in Syracuse, Indiana is a must stop for residents and visitors alike. We offer specialty burgers, chops, steaks, and appetizers. We have a nice selection of beers and specialty drinks as well. Enjoy our daily lunch and dinner specials inside or out on our patio. Great food, great drinks, great friends. Now don't forget you can find out more about them on the iShop Local app, and when you use your discount here, you actually get 50% off an appetizer with a purchase of two entrees. Davidson Auto Deals is a family owned and operated auto dealership located in Syracuse, Indiana. Our goal is to provide quality vehicles at wholesale prices and world-class service. We cater to all customers regardless of situation and assure you come back to us for your next purchase. After 15 years in the automotive retail business, we are dedicated to giving our customers a different experience. Stop in today or visit us online at DavidsonAutoDeals.com. <laughs> 